What's up, Pete? This your boy, Jay. It's been a minute since I have, um, came with the video. But with this one, we're going to be talking about black America being pressured to vote. Being pressured to vote. My question to y'all is, what are you voting for? Hmm? What are you voting for? That's what I want to know. Because it seems to me that, you know, neither one of them has any policies or plans for black America to make black America whole. Neither one of them is talking about the subject of reparations. You know, none of them have any policy, black policies and black agendas. You know, neither one of them. Neither one of them. You know, the Democrats are talking about holler at them after the election. How the hell are we going to holler at you after the election when you're not even guaranteed to win? Hmm? Because from what I understand, the Democrats pretty much need the black vote to even get anywhere closer to the White House. So if black America decides that, hey, look, this dude ain't got nothing for us and we know Trump ain't got nothing for us. So we're just going to sit this one out. Hey, we're going to sit this election out. We ain't, we ain't, no, nah, we, we sitting this one out. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we not picking either one of these guys. Well, that's my plan anyway. We ain't picking none of them. Okay. We ain't voting for none of them. Okay. I'm not voting for neither one of them. Okay. I'm, I, I'm not voting for neither one of them. Okay. I don't care for Trump and I definitely don't care for, for Joe, to Jim Crow Joe. We're going to talk about our bro brother Q. Because it's been circulating that Brother Cube has been getting a lot of backflack for allegedly working with the Trump administration. Well, from what I've heard and from what I understand from Brother Cube himself, he presented his plan to both the Democrats and the Republicans. See, Cube understand that you cannot get policy done. You can't get anything done without having politics being involved in it. You can't just go talking about, oh, well, if we do this or we do that, because guess what? These people are going to shut that shit down. They're going to shut that shit straight down. So Cube understands that you need politics to make shit happen. Okay. But I want to understand something here. All the motherfuckers that's giving this man some back flack about him allegedly working with Donald Trump or whatever. I want to know where the fuck is your plan for black America? Why you running your goddamn mouth talking shit about this man? Where's your fucking plan at? Hmm? Where's your plan at for black America? Huh? Where's your agenda for black America? Where's your steps to getting reparations for black America? Where's your steps to getting black policies? And, and, and it, where's your steps at? Why y'all sitting up here trashing this man? I'm talking to the black bootleg, boule, butter biscuit, buck dancing, serving Negroes that's talking shit about Q. I'm talking to you motherfuckers. Because... He presented his plan to both sides, okay? The Democrats told that man, we'll holler at you after the election. Like I said earlier, you motherfuckers ain't guaranteed to get in the White House. Q made it clear that he's not voting for anybody. He's not pressuring the people to vote for neither one of them. He made that clear. Q made that fucking clear that he's not picking neither one of them motherfuckers. And he's telling you, to do the same thing. Don't pick neither one of them because neither one of them has our best interests at hand. But to all the Negro slaves, the butter biscuit, buck dancing Negroes that wants to that wants to talk shit and don't have no fucking plan to even make anything better for black America, shut the fuck up. Roly poly fat ass need to shut up. Cause Roland Martin, his fat ass ain't nothing but a Democratic shield. He ain't, he he need to he definitely need to shut his ass up. Beep, 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 yeah, beep, 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 yeah, um, you know, yeah, we, we, we for the Democratic beep, beep, beep. Shut up, Roly. Get your fat ass up, man. And all you other fucking Democratic shields that wants to talk shit about Q and talk shit about black people who doesn't who's not picking the slave master of the Democrats. Okay. You don't give us a fucking 
an ultimatum to pick between a motherfucker who wants to kill us with a gun and a motherfucker that wants to kill us with a knife. Just because your dumb ass want to pick the motherfucker that's going to kill you with the knife don't mean I have to do it. Why not walk away with your life, people? Why not say, you know what, fuck, they ain't got to pick neither one of them and walk away with your life? My people, my, my, my people who's making that decision to say, look, we ain't voting for neither one and we ain't voting, period. Whatever your choice and decision is, I respect that because my people, y'all are waking up. Do not, and I repeat, do not let none of these motherfucking Negroes who don't have no plans for black America to shame you into voting for the Democrats just because they are afraid of Donald Trump. I ain't afraid of Donald motherfucking Trump. Donald Trump don't fucking scare me. The fuck am I afraid of Donald Trump for? I'm not afraid of him. You hear all these dumb ass Negroes, man, if you don't vote, Donald Trump gonna win. Get your stupid ass out of here, man. How many times do we have to present the data to you to show you that Donald Trump won because of white folks, okay? Why are you holding black folks accountable for what white people did, okay? Donald Trump won because of white people elected him, man, okay? Stop holding black America accountable for something they didn't motherfucking do. Start putting the accountability on the people who does. Stop shaming black people into voting for a goddamn Democratic slave master that's not going to do absolutely nothing for them and made it clear that they're not going to do nothing for us, okay? I'm going to need for you dumb ass niggas, you slaves, to shut your fucking mouths, okay? You don't have any plans to make anything better for black America. I need for you to shut your fucking mouth. Everybody, want, what, what, what's my plan? My plan is on ADOS101.com, okay? That's my plan. Want to know what my plan is? Go and look at ADOS101.com. Antonio Moore and Yvette Carnell had already laid it out. They already laid it out. Me and my team here in Nashville, the chapter here in Nashville, our chapter here at ADOS, we've been working on dissecting this um, HR 40 bill. We've been working on a lot of things. We've been contacting people to work on things for black America. What are the rest of you motherfucking Negroes doing other than sitting your stupid asses on social media talking shit about everybody else with no plan of your own? That's what I want to know. What the fuck are you doing? Because obviously it seems to me that you ain't got shit going for yourself and you ain't doing nothing. But then you want to open your mouth and talk shit about people voting. What the fuck? What the fuck are you voting for? What are you voting for? Hmm? Can you name one plan or policy that the Democrats have laid out specifically for you to the book dancing Negroes who continuously want to be slaves to the Democrat? Pick one goddamn plan that they got for you. I'll wait. None. None. And we ain't falling for that so-called platinum plan of Donald Trump's either. We ain't falling for that stupid shit either, okay? Because it's too much. That, that shit is, is it, it, that, 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 that bullshit-ass plan ain't benefiting us either, okay? When you start talking about minorities and people of color and all that shit, that shit don't benefit black America, okay? We need something specifically for black America, Specifically laid out on the table for the descendants of slaves in this country. We need something for, for specifically for us. We don't need nothing else that's talking about black. What, what we're talking about fucking people of color and, and, and immigration and all this fucking bullshit. Minority. We, we, we don't need all of that, okay? We need something specifically for black America, okay? And neither one of these candidates don't have it. So... Do not let any of these dumbass niggas who have little to no political knowledge or education shame you into voting for a motherfucker that's going to kill you with a gun or a motherfucker that's going to kill you with a knife. Why not walk away with your life and say, I'm not picking either one of them? Why not walk away with your life, people? And like I said, to my people, whatever your decision is, 
I respect it because guess what? You do not have to be shamed into voting for the Democratic Party. And we definitely ain't picking the motherfucking Republican Party. Remember my, my, my slogan, people. We ain't voting blue no matter who. And we not voting red instead. So with that being said, peace to my people out there. Love y'all.